Hi everyone. Welcome once again to Reasons Now Told, video blog by Ray Behenting of RB Subbo Game Foul Technology. Topics discussed here are from the online course Practical Science of the Game Foul taught at Advanced Game Foul Academy. Now, for today's topic, here's your host. Our topic today is how to breed for good fighting ability. Fighting ability is the most important function of game foul. Some of the desirable fighting traits are cutting ability, gameness, intelligence, agility and speed. For centuries breeding for fighting characteristics had been done mostly by trial and error. Now, the situation is much better. Today breeders can be guided by genetic principles that make the task simpler and more accurate. Advances in genetics has taken away much of trial and error from game foul breeding including for fighting ability. There are now helpful scientific principles. By making use of these principles, we for example, have classified fighting characteristics into three groups. In the first kind are the traits that will naturally manifest in game foul. These traits can be easily inherited from the hen. These include cases that have something to do with sex-related causes, such as sex-linked, sex-influenced, sex-determined factors, and mitochondrial inheritance. Then there are traits that will naturally manifest in their wild form, but need complementary efforts by the breeder to enhance. These traits are essential in the wild, but to different degrees from what are required in surviving cockfights. These traits should be enhanced in both the male and female sides of the matings. Finally there are mutations that are not necessary for survival of chicken in the wild, but vital for survival of game fowl in the pit. It is the task of the breeder to put and maintain these traits in the bloodline. These traits can only be observed from the roosters during actual fights. Thus, the breeder should see to it that these mandatory traits are found in the brood cock. The three classes of traits are 1. Essential wild type or the natural. This can be naturally inherited from as good hen. Two. Improvable wild type. These are traits that should be present in both the brood cock and the hen to accomplish complementarity. 3. Mandatory mutation or changes that the breeder should put. These traits should be present in the brood cock. So, breeding for fighting ability is not that complicated. Understanding these classes of traits makes breeding simpler. How these traits interact with one another is also important. And, these are all discussed at the online course Practical Science of the Game Foul. So what are you waiting for? Learn all these. Enroll now.